Hello, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be doing a sheep's heart dissection. Nurse, prep the patient. Okay, so here we have the heart, and it's as if the heart is looking at, back up at us. So we've got the right side is actually on the left, and the left side is on the right. You can see that the left hand side is quite firm. Okay, when I squish it, it's quite firm. The right side is actually quite squishy. Okay, now that's because the muscle on the left is much stronger to be able to pump out to the body. Look closely, and on one side, you'll see a diagonal line of blood vessels that divide the heart. That's called the septum. At the bottom, we've got the apex, and at the top, we've got our blood vessels supplying the heart with the actual blood to pump around the body. Look at how much fat surrounds the heart. These hearts are generally from lambs, but an older animal would have more fat deposits around the heart. Fat cells have little or no elasticity, which then restricts the heart movement. So we're gonna turn it now, so that the right side is on the right hand side of the body, looking the same way we're looking. This large opening is the superior vena cava. It brings blood from the top half of the body to the right atrium. The atrium, or the atria, are the top chambers of the heart. Now, if I stick a probe down into the vessel, I can feel that it's open, but it only goes into that top atrium there. Just to the left, coming off this, is the inferior vena cava. It's much smaller. It brings blood from the bottom of the body to the right atrium. On the outside of the superior vena cava is the auricles. We have an auricle on the left and on the right. Next to the left auricle and the inferior vena cava is the pulmonary vein. That brings blood from the lungs into the left atrium. Again, you can see placing a probe in, it's stopped at the top. This large vessel you can see sticking straight up from the centre of the heart is the aorta. It takes the oxygenated blood from the left ventricle to the rest of the body. The ventricles are the lower chambers of the heart. The aorta branches into more than one artery right after it leaves the heart. There may be more than one opening to your heart specimen. Look carefully at the openings and you should be able to see that they are connected to each other. When we insert the probe, we can see that it goes down to the bottom of the heart and it's actually poking through on that muscle there. Behind and to the left of the aorta, there is another large vessel. This is the pulmonary artery. It takes blood from the right ventricle to the lungs to be oxygenated. Okay, so let's recap. We've got the aorta, which pumps blood around the body. We've got the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava that pump into the right atrium. We have the pulmonary vein and the pulmonary artery. Oracles are the outer appendages to the atrium. We've got the septum running down, dividing the heart. Let's have a look at the right chambers. To do this, you'll perform a cut using a scalpel from the superior vena cava down the right wall of the atrium and the ventricle. Beside the septum, about one centimeter away, you don't want to cut too close. Please be careful when cutting. Between the right atrium and the right ventricle, you can see flaps of membrane. This is the tricuspid valve. 
Its job is to allow blood to flow through from the atrium to the ventricle, but not back into the atrium. A good little tip is that the atrium is at the top, the A points up, and the ventricle is at the bottom, the V points down. Here you can see the underside of the auricle and the superior vena cava. We've got our tendons attached to membranes. Now if we stick a blunt probe into the pulmonary artery, it'll go down into that right ventricle. If we take a second probe, we can put it into the superior vena cava and it should stop in the right atrium. Now we make our incision for the left chambers. So we start around about a centimetre from the septum and cutting in. The wall will be much thicker, so you need to cut deeper. I can see the tendons, so I'm just going to cut a little deeper past that myocardium. If we stick a blunt probe into the aorta, we'll see it drop down into that left ventricle at the bottom. Let's take a look at the left atrium and that bicuspid valve. So entering in through the pulmonary vein, you can see here there's a thin membrane that's stopping my finger from going any further. You can see that there's a clear atrium at the top. At the bottom is the ventricle. Same on the other side, atrium at the top, ventricle down below. So again, we've got the septum running down the middle. The last feature we'll look at is the myocardium otherwise known as the chamber walls. On the left hand side, it's much thicker than it is on the right side, and that's because the left side is the wall and the chambers that pump out the blood to the entire body, not just back to the lungs. So the left side's on the right, and when we open it up, we can see just how thick that myocardial wall is. We can see both chambers quite clearly. We can see the bicuspid valves there. If we dig a little deeper, we can see the tricuspid valves up near the knuckles there. If we insert a probe into the aorta, we can see that it shoots down into the bottom ventricle, the left ventricle. Then if we insert a second probe into the pulmonary vein, we can see that it's stopped again in that left atrium at the top and the membrane that allows the blood to flow from the left atrium to the left ventricle, then up the aorta and around the body. Thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you got something out of this video. The sort of room text blood goes right to left. Travels to the heart when the chambers are compressed. It's your heart. There's no other part like your heart. Thump, 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 thump. Right here you lose first. Our ventricle is excited pushing blood to the lungs. Now it's oxygenated. It's your heart. There's no other part like your heart. Thump, 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 thump. That's your heart. Blood out from the lungs, from the pulmonary vein. Left atrium and ventricle to arteries again. It's your heart.